Hey guys, welcome to the lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Nancy's quiches. Um, this one is the broccoli and cheddar. It is broccoli, cheddar, cheese, spices, delicately baked in a rich buttery pastry. Looks pretty decent. Let's see. Uh, it is a six ounce or 170 gram meal. We bought these at Jungle Gems in um, um, Cincinnati, Ohio, at Jungle Gems International Market. They were $2.89 a piece. So not super cheap, but not really expensive. Uh, 400 calories for the quiche. Here's your other information for you. Okay, you can do this in the oven. Of course, we're not going to, but you can. Um, you, you leave it frozen, cook thoroughly. Yeah. All right, so microwave. That's what we do on this channel is all microwaves. So we're going to remove the frozen quiche from, quiche from the plastic wrapping, leave it in the cardboard tray, place tray in the microwave, cook on 100% uh, power for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and then cook for an additional 1.5 minutes on 50% power, then let it sit for a minute. So... That's a little pull tab, which is nice. And they work. All right, there it is. So I'm going to take the plaster wrap off here. I'll probably put that up here plate just easy to transport it for me. But, um, but yeah, I'll take the plastic off of it, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave. Um, I just opened this tray up. You can see I just popped it loose and then cut it into four pieces. More so I could show you what it looks like, but it also let it cool off. Um, it does look a little dry on the edges, which you usually, most of these quiches do get a little dry on the edges. But I'm going to let this cool off. Definitely smells like broccoli, that's for sure. And I'll be back. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off. Not very long at all. Um, I cut it into like little pie wedges so I could, um, just so I could pick it up and eat it easier. You for sure get a lot of broccoli in there. You can see quite a bit of broccoli in there. Um, you get the texture of the broccoli, like the stems and the and the uh, florette part. Um, what's funny is it really doesn't taste really strongly of broccoli. I mean, I get a little. A little hint of broccoli, but most of that tastes the crust. On it, to be honest with you, and whatever seasonings they put in there with the broccoli and the cheese. Touch of onion, I believe. Yeah, you really don't get um, you really don't. Or it's onion powder or something, some kind of oniony flavor. You really don't taste the broccoli very strong. I mean, it's there, but it's not like ooh broccoli. Um, it's really a light flavor, actually. Um, it's a little boring, to be honest with you. I wish it had a stronger broccoli and cheese flavor. It's mostly just literally the spices and the crust is what I, what I taste. The backside is a little tough, a little drier back in the, on the side. You can see it's kind of rubbery looking. Um, not bad, though. It's not like tough for you, like you can't eat it. Um, the best part of this quiche, truth be told, is the crust. Um, the crust, I could just eat the crust. The um, the actual broccoli cheddar quiche part is is bland. It's not very uh, flavorful at all, which I'm surprised. The um, You would think broccoli and cheddar would be a lot stronger of that broccoli flavor, but it's really not. Um, And broccoli is like one of the top ingredients, although I really don't taste it a lot. It does have dehydrated onions, eggs, um, just cheddar cheese, which I really don't taste either. Uh, garlic. Yeah, it really, um, it's really kind of boring. So I would give this, I mean, it's a very middle of the road. There's nothing bad, there's nothing good. There's just, it's just there. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five because it is just, just in the middle. Um, it's, it's not necessarily if you're not if you don't get them in your area you're not necessarily missing anything let's put it that way um they're okay but they're not too exciting so oh well can't can't be perfect flavors everywhere so um so yeah i hope you enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching